Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out a very interesting sort of colony sim, city builder, uh, but probably more than those two. This is a management game, and it is a management game because you're effectively managing both a town and also a family. What do I mean by that? Well, let's jump into Norland and see what we have got going on. So... Um, we are going to be setting up here. Uh, this is this is fine. Uh, I, the only thing that I want to do is uh, is rename rename things. Uh, so we will, in the first instance, be controlling three members of a family. They've all got their own sort of different stats. It doesn't particularly matter at this present moment. I will explain what I mean. Uh, but I want to make sure that everybody is renamed. And we can sort of very clearly see what the heck is going on. So, yeah, uh, brother, brother, potato. Excellent. Okay, we're going to be starting with two brothers and a wife. There's a bunch of sort of different little combinations that we can uh, that we can go through. It doesn't particularly matter. This is going to be the uh, the king. Uh, the king has a brother called brother potato and also a wife, Mrs. Potato. Okay, we'll jump into things. So... This is the world. There's a couple of different sort of kingdoms that we can start in. We're going to be starting in Sparksville, uh, which I think is probably the best place to uh, to immediately get going. Uh, Sparksville is, of course, going to be renamed Potatoville because I am just that vain. Uh, but also, it's going to be much easier to see on the map uh, where we are. Anyway, uh, we can choose a banner, uh, ideally a blue or orange banner. That is awful. I'm going to keep randoming. I don't hate that. I think we need a little bit more blue. As in, you know, like, a little bit of dark blue, please, video game. You're going to give me dark blue anytime? Just awful blues. That's blue enough. Sure, let's go with that. Right, so Potatoville, this is where we're going to be uh, This is where we're going to be playing. Uh, we've got a couple of different options with regards to a scenario. Um, we're going to be going with this one. A member of your noble family has been captured by bandits during a recent raid on your young settlement. Free them as soon as possible. There is going to be a crisis. Let's not worry about that too, too much. We're going to be playing on normal mode with no modifiers. Let's jump into it. Okay, a little bit of a longer setup than I usually like to do. But the point is, is that that is all relevant because this is a management game and I need to sort of go through all of that phase in order to chat about all of the management mechanics that we are going to be experiencing. Now, as ever, I'm going to do my very best to explain what the heck is going on. This is quite a complex game and I just need to make you aware of that sort of straight from the outset. But we're going to be um, we're going to be taking things nice and slow, at least in the initial stages, so that uh, so that we can get up to speed. Thank you very much. OK, so very, very simply, this is this is our world. This is all that we have. Um, there's a couple of different things that we need to consider. Uh, Mrs. Potatoville uh, from Potato, Mrs. Potato from Potatoville has been captured by forest bandits. Forest bandits in your land. Okay, they're over there. We will uh, we will deal with that in just a second. So uh, we have access to this world map. We're going to be constantly sort of looking around here and, and seeing what we can do. Uh, Mrs. Potato is stuck over here. We will come and free you, my love. Don't you worry about that. But before we do, uh, there's a few other things that we need to get uh, that we need to get set up. Let's unpause and just sort of let everybody spread out so that I can explain the mechanics of this game. Right, the mechanics of this game are super super interesting because basically you don't control you don't control anybody. The only thing that we can do in terms of issuing issuing instructions and telling people what to do is our family here. We only have five or up to five uh, lords or nobles that we can uh, that we can actually control. So orbital potato here, this forty year old with a spouse who's been uh, who's been kidnapped. Uh, we can give you instructions, and we will indeed give you instructions. We can in fact issue a whole bunch of instructions through uh, through this little interface. And in fact, I will do that. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we can only we can basically only give instructions to two people at the moment. And when we get Mrs. Potato back, uh, we'll be able to issue instructions to a third. So that's just kind of how it happens. There is this whole sort of dynamic economy uh, that we can create and uh, we can kind of control. So we have a bunch of peasants. Um, in fact, we have got seven peasants at the moment. They've got an average wealth of 14. And we can sort of set the prices... Uh, it is uh, this interface here. We can actually set the prices and we can see exactly how much. Look at this daily wages, uh, five peasants, daily wages. That's the daily wage. Uh, we need to sort of keep in mind the fact that we are going to be selling flour and meat and rutabaga to all of our uh, to all of our peasants. We want to make sure that they can afford all of the sort of different uh, the different commodities that they need to live. 
Okay. Uh, so let's unpause and let the game run for just a second. Now, uh, this is the hole. I don't know why you're wanting me to hover over that. But anyway, uh, the hole has got has got Orbital Potato in charge of issuing instructions. So what we're going to see is we're going to see Orbital Potato tell all of the peasants what to do, uh, which is just fine as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we have got a house for Orbital Potato, we have got a house for Brother Potato, and we have got a house, which is currently unoccupied obviously, for Mrs. Potato, which is uh, which is just fine indeed. Uh, we've got some accommodation for the peasants, uh, we have got a market here, um, we can choose things to not sell or sell, etc. And then, we've, as I say, we've just got the hall, and uh, in the hall we can assign builders, servants, etc which is which is absolutely fine first steps yes indeed i am going to get the first steps up and running but before we do that um i just kind of want to go over this stuff we've got cash we've got coins holy rings holy rings are really really important mechanic uh, we'll talk about that we've got some food stuffs we've got flour loads of flour no meat we've got beer people drink uh people drink beer and consume uh, and consume food uh, at one unit per day. We've got wood, we've got iron, we've got paper, we've got some maces, we've got some bows, and we've got some heavy armor. Uh, we've got a couple of problems in our uh, in our villages. Uh, food production is absent. We have none. We have a weak army. We need a barracks. We have no alcohol production. We have no tavern. Uh, we have nowhere to pray. Uh, and also, there's a couple of other things that we are recommended to do. You need a lot of wood, build two to three lumber mills, and upgrade them to the third level. A library, and assign lords to study new knowledge. Ensure you have enough food, and build a tavern. Alcohol's running low, set up production of moonshine. And also buy stuff from the caravan when that comes near. Uh, comes near. Okay, so uh, the game works in a fantastic way. It really, really does. Uh, let's set up some construction in the first instance. We'll set up, uh, we'll set up a lumber mill. Let's get a, we're recommended to build three lumber mills. So, I mean, I'm going to do that. I think that seems like a pretty darn, uh, good idea. Uh, we're going to go into two times speed. I think two times speed is probably where we're going to be sitting at for the most part. Uh, we will not control anything. We will issue the instructions where to build stuff, and we will just sort of let that happen, which I think is uh, just a fantastic way of, uh, of doing business. We should also get ourselves a rutabaga field. Yep, I'm very, very keen. There's a area of sort of fertility up here. Let's get two fields. That's going to be a decent investment of wood, but we've got 500, so I think that we can, I think that we can deal with that. Oh, okay. There's a few things popping up over there, but I'm not going to worry about that uh, at the moment. Right. Ooh, what do we got going on? Oh, there's a um, there's a threat over here. What's going on? Request for assistance. This is the Dust Valley. Okay. Uh, so what we can do is we can we can uh, we can send we can send some units over there. Drimmond from Silverhaven is becoming stronger and plans to annex Dust Valley to his kingdom soon. Uh, you can send your army to help defend. I mean, I don't particularly want to do that where is where is silver where is silver haven is that here i can't actually see it i presume it's down i presume it's down here anyway you are heading up to where are you heading up to you're heading over to treewood over there um yeah let's maybe let's maybe not sort of worry about the the neighboring kingdom quite yet i need to get the basics sort of set up first anyway um one of the lumber mills has been established which is really really nice we can upgrade this to level three one additional job slot total production efficiency you know what i will do that um i'll i'll get that uh, i'll get that set up uh, we also need to appoint a manager um, I am going to appoint uh, Brother Potato. Brother Potato has got a management level of 10, which is one of the characteristics that the characters can have. And that means that we get a production bonus. Now, thankfully, uh, people can manage more than one facility, uh, which is quite nice. But we are going to get that production bonus on the lumber mill, which is really, really important. Uh, and I like that a lot. Okay, we got any, we got any other stuff happening? No, not really. Um, yeah, good. Happy days. And instructions last for three days, as that little tooltip was uh, was saying. So the Lord needs to constantly be uh, be issuing instructions uh, every so often, which is which is absolutely fair enough. We want we need to make sure that we don't sort of over uh, over egg exactly what is happening at any one time. But I think that we will be fine. There we go. Instructions are to upgrade at the moment. Let's appoint uh, Brother Potato over there. Beautiful. And you should come down here and set that up. Very, very good. Uh, actually, tell you what, forget the upgrades so that we can... Yeah, forget the upgrades so that we can actually just get to work. 
immediately. Yeah, get to work immediately. We'll wait for all of the builders to conduct the initial uh, the initial build here. And then we'll we'll get to work there. Yeah, I don't think that we have the workers. I think that we're probably a little bit low on uh, on workers. Expected migrants today, seven. That's quite good. That is quite good. Now, the interesting thing about peasants is that they can have a bunch of different sort of characteristics, uh, which is quite nice. I can't hover over. I thought I could hover, uh, hover over here, but apparently not. Anyway, uh, we can, you know, we can, uh, we can have their, we can change their characteristics. We can get them to become loyalists so they can sort of firmly believe in the, uh, in the royal family. That's kind of cool. Uh, we kind of want that. Uh, no, yeah, we just, we don't have any, we don't have anybody that is unemployed at the present moment, which is a little bit of a, a little bit of a problem. Workers have not received instructions today. Yeah, that's because we barely got there. We barely, we barely got you there. That's fine. Okay. Daily statistics, world summary. I don't need any of this. I don't need to know that. That is completely fine. Okay, look at that. We got seven, uh, we got seven additional migrants, which is fantastic. We are up to a population of 14. I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, let's see if we can try and get some more stuff built, shall we? I feel like I've not been very good uh, with regards to building. This is where alcohol can be brewed. I would love to get... I would love to get moonshine production, especially near the Rutabaga, uh, the Rutabaga fields. That is fine. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, what else have we got? A tavern. I would love to build a, ca a tavern. Uh, the holy caravan has arrived in the city. Yeah, let's talk about that in just a second. But let's let's get the other let's get the other facilities that we have uh, down. Tavern. Alcohol is sold. The selling parameters can be adjusted in the finance menu. Yep, I'll do that. Let's get that right over there. The den. Nectar is sold. Uh, I don't think that we have the ability to make nectar at the moment, so let's not worry too much about that. Market. We've already got one. An altar. Uh, yes, I would like to get an altar. We'll get an altar built there. A warehouse. I think we have the warehouse in the existing, uh, town hall at the moment. I think that is, I think that it's like, I think that it's these little side bits here. Uh, but that doesn't particularly matter at the moment. Is that everything? Build a library. Do we need to build a library? Yeah, we should build a library. Let's build a library. Whoops. Let's not worry about that. Uh, service library. Perfect. Required for working with knowledge and knowledge is very, very important indeed. Okay. So that's a lot of production for, uh, or a lot of building for our builders to, to undertake. It's fine. We can, we can worry about that, uh, in the morning when, uh, when we have, uh, when we have some more, some more workers. Anyway, uh, every now and again, every now and again, the holy caravan will arrive. And, uh, this is kind of, uh, this is kind of interesting because we can initiate a trading relationship with the trader. If we send Brother Potato down here, again, uh, testing that management skill, uh, we can have a little look at stuff to buy and indeed stuff to sell. I mean, we've got loads and loads of cash at the moment. If we want to inject more cash into our economy, we've got a couple of different ways of going about doing that. Uh, we can buy stuff, we can sell stuff. I don't think I really want to sell or buy anything. Um, I don't know if the how to make money thing has got has got anything, um, has got anything to say about that. I don't think we really want to, I don't think we really want to buy anything right now, do we? Maybe, maybe some, maybe some bows? Maybe some bows or some maces? Three bow, uh, three, uh, three maces, three spears. Armor is... Improve your relationship with the matriarch so that the holy caravan will start selling you this product. Okay, well we can't we can't get that quite yet, but I think yeah I think we'll get um I think we'll get six weapons. I think that seems like a pretty good deal all things considered. Um, that's pretty nice. Oh, the other thing that we can buy, which is very very important. Let me uh, let me go and get that sorted. Also, look at this. We have um we have people just sleeping out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, which is a bit of a problem. Anyway, yeah, so we can also get, we can get normal wares. Very, very cool. Uh, we can also get, we can also get books. Now, books are super important because they allow us to enable, like, new technology. And if we read them in the library or if our lords read them in the library, then we're actually able to learn new things. Allows the construction of a temple through the construction menu. Allows the construction of scaffold through the, through the menu. Allows, allows the construction of a prison ward. Uh, I mean, I'll take, I'll take it all. I don't want to, I don't want to worry about that. I'll just take, I'll take all of the books. I'll take all of the books. That is completely, completely fine. Now, again, we're not going to be able to actually read the darn things until we get, 
until we get a library up and running, but uh, but that's fine. We'll talk about the sort of knowledge interface as we go. Okay, what have we explored? We've explored most things now. We've explored the construction menu. I do need to get a barracks. I will get a barracks. Let's get that positioned over here. Uh, a night patrol, a night patrol, and a day patrol. This is kind of an interesting mechanic. We're able to uh, we're able to set up uh, we're able to set up a uh, a guard post. Uh, we're able to set up a guard post that will allow uh, for some crimes to be uh, to be hopefully prevented, uh, which is kind of cool. Working hours from twenty three to four, or from eleven till four. That's okay. Uh, hopefully, this means that we stop people from stealing stuff. Again, we'll worry about it in a little bit. Uh, we have got the statistics screen, which is fine. We've got a little army screen. This is cool. I, I really am looking forward to uh, to creating an army. We'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, we've got some dynasty stats. We can check, deny, uh, armor wielding, weapon wielding, meat consumption, etc. Uh, we've got the knowledge interface, which is where we can start to study uh resources uh, we can say uh, learn this resource once we've or learn this uh, learn this book once we have got uh, the library up and running and that is going to be done tomorrow uh, we've got a little trade interface which hopefully we are going to be able to we're going to be able to set up a little bit of a trade situation with our uh, with our uh, with our neighbors which is kind of nice and we should have two guards that are going to be patrolling the city center uh, over the course of the evening. Very, very nice indeed. Okay. Uh, Orbital Potato, insincerely admired brother Potato. Okay. Well, that's nice. They're, they're having a little bit of bonding. Now, of course, there is a whole bunch of sort of different stats, um, different happinesses, different sort of mood levels. We can only, we can only actually tell our, um, tell our, tell our lords to do stuff if they are happy with me. So I need to make sure that they're all sort of kept, uh, kept in good, kept in good fettle, uh, flattered by Orbital Potato. That will help improve Brother Potato's mood, which is, uh, which is pretty nice. Okay. Gold balance for the day, I imagine is probably negative. Paid wages, 70. Resources produced, 12. Goods sold in local markets, 68. So that's actually, that's actually pretty good, all things considered. You know, financially wise, we, we, we did, uh, we did not too, we did not too badly there. Uh, so I think we've actually done all of this stuff. I need to get, I need to get stuff upgraded. I will get stuff upgraded, but we can make that, we can make that happen. I can't increase the number of builders that we've got, unfortunately. There we go. I know. Instructions. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty good. We got a lot of building to get done, but we will manage. I, I don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry. I, I got, I got it. Video game. I got it. Okay. So lumber milling. We're lumber milling away, which is great. Um, we've got a field here. Uh, we are going to appoint a manager. I am going to get Brother Potato. Brother Potato is going to do a heck of a lot of work in terms of, uh, in terms of managing people. It's gonna free up the big lord, Orbital Potato, to do um, to do to do the other stuff. Like hopefully leading leading in combat, but I guess we will I guess we will see. Either way, instructions do last for quite a long time, which is which is fine. Brother Potato has received an enlightenment. Okay, well you're enlightened because you're telling workers how to work in a in a in a rutabaga field. Okay, we're okay with that. Okay, my uh, my builders are doing a, a power work. We got a brewery. We have not got. We have not got enough people to actually do any of the work. I'm thinking that maybe we want to reduce the number of um, the number of people that we have working in the fields, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. Uh, let's get let's get brewery up and running. We're working on the tavern. This is good. This is good. This is good. We've got five migrants that are going to be coming our way today, which is excellent. I wonder, can I build an additional? Can I build an additional dorm? Peasant's house, dormitory. I think I don't need another lord's house. I don't I don't have the I don't have the knowledge to do a prison ward. I think we're gonna get another dormitory, actually. Yeah, there we go. Let's get that planned. Get that sorted. It's already five o'clock in the evening, and we got most of our constructions done. Which is good. Um do I want to prioritize this as something to build? I think I actually will. Let's prioritize that just because I want to, I want to ensure that we have, um, oh, freelance lord. Uh, they come from lords who left their family for some reason, did not join another. They'll come with holy caravans and offer their services for holy rings. 
Ooh, okay, so we can actually hire an additional lord. Very, very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed. Um, well, I think we'll probably end up hiring the, uh, the freelance lord, uh, if indeed. Where are you? You still walking in? Oh, goodness gracious me. I will absolutely hire you. Uh, we can grant a title. Absolutely, let's do that. Hire a lord, hire a lord for 10 days. I think, you know what? I think we can, um, I think we can have a why, if we have a wise conversation, maybe we might be able to, maybe we're able to improve the mood, uh, between, between, uh, between Orbital Potato and Yarina here. Uh, if we hire you for a couple of days, let's go Orbital Potato. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, so total cost for 10 days is going to be five rings. Um, we have got 20 of these rings at the moment. Now, these rings are primarily, like, this is primarily the currency that lords care about. They don't really care about money. They care about these rings. So I think we're going to, I think we're going to set up, um, we're going to set something up here. And maybe after 10 days, we'll be able to bring you into our, uh, bring you into our staff here, which is kind of cool. I like that a lot. Okay, enchantment consequences of war. As a result of the war in the neighboring province of uh, enchantment, migration from there has increased. The refugees belong to the Caden culture. The Holy Caravan will sell iron trade by the province at two times the price for several days. Okay, Holy Caravan has arrived. Don't care. Free Lord's waiting to be hired. Uh, and you have been hired for 10 days. Okay, so... Uh, Yurina here, we've got 18 peasants, this is, this is looking, this is looking good, this is looking very, very good indeed. So, I would like, I would like to, I'd like to go wolf hunting, I'd like to go wolf hunting between Orbital Potato and, uh, Yurina. I really would like to try and get a little bit of a relationship going between these two. Uh, I appreciate, of course, that, uh, my wife is, is currently, uh, is currently being kidnapped, but that's fine. Right, uh, ooh, Yurina has no housing. Uh, you know what? Can I, can I, can I, can I maybe instead of, this is, looks awful, but can I maybe eject my wife from the Lord's house and give this to Yurina instead? <laughs> uh, the enemy is plotting. Okay, uh, we need to, we need to try and, we need to try and do some more foreign relations. That is very, very important. Right, Yurina, you have a hundred loyalty at the moment. Are you happy with me? King of another culture, uh, craving excitement. However, hopefully we'll be able to get some wolf hunting. And wolf hunting is traditionally something that is able to uh, to increase the relationship between between two different uh, between two different lords. Okay, we need a barracks. We have a weak army. I know we're working on the army, but the good news is is that we should have the capability. We should have the capability to get uh, to get additional people. And honestly, things are looking pretty darn good sort of on the, on the grand, on the grand scale. Tomorrow, we're going to get everything, we're going to get everything completely finished. Uh, what is our relationship with these people? Uh, we need to try and, we need to try and improve, yeah, we need to try and improve some of the, we need to try and improve some of the, uh, some of the relationships uh, nearby. We've also got a couple of villages in our, uh, sort of home region that will allow us to, uh, first of all, they'll give us, they'll give us tribute, which is quite nice, uh, but we can also, uh, we can also, you know, have specific actions. We can, well, oh, look, we're going to, we're going to be getting, we're going to be getting some wheat from here. Uh, we can, we can do it. We can undertake a whole bunch of stuff. I think what I would like to do is I would like to, I would like to try and develop a relationship with you. Let's do, let's do wolf hunting uh, with Orbital Potato. You're in hostage, obviously, at the moment. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna try and we're gonna try and improve and uh, improve our relationship with pretty much everyone. Are you gonna leave right now, Orbital Potato? Looks looks that way, uh, which is fine. Looks like uh, the wolf hunting with uh, Yurina is gonna have to wait because it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen uh, after Orbital Potato gets there. Either way, I want to show off some of the combat as well before we uh, before we before we get too deep into things. Right? Why is this? Why is this an issue? We have we should have plenty of wood. What's going on? Books are not being studied. I know books are not being studied, but that's because we haven't actually built. Uh, we haven't built what we need to build. We haven't built what we haven't built what we need to build. Right for the harmony of the world, uh, loving family. Okay, Orbital Potato arrives as a guest in the Great Mist and is ready to carry out assignments. Excellent. That's good. We're going to be working on this relationship. We just need to make sure that we're friendly with all of our sort of neighboring, our neighboring allies. Okay, the king decides that it's time to announce the ambitions that will determine the future of your noble family. 
Conqueror. Power leads to the prosperity and dynasty. Adds three vassals to your kingdom. Oh, this is our objectives. Um, economic. Achieve daily production goods worth 1,600. That seems pretty good. Fertile increase. Increase the population to 65. That's good. Expand your alliance of free cities to three provinces. Um, I think we'll try and do financial. Let's, um, let's do that. I'm happy to do that. Hunting is still going on with, uh, with potato, which is great. Very, very good. Um, yeah, the warehouse that we currently have is on the right wall of the hall, but we should probably get a more sophisticated warehouse as we go. Right, Yarina, what do we want you to do? I think we maybe want you to do... Um, well, if we do knowledge gathering, that would be a little bit suboptimal. Uh, I gotta be honest. Little bit suboptimal. Ooh, I can seduce. I can seduce. I tell you what, what about Brother Potato? You don't have a wife at the moment. You do not have a wife. Wolf hunting, wolf hunting with Yurina. Sure, let's, uh, let's... Let's see if that, let's see if that happens. We might be able to, we, we might be able to, uh, to get somebody else, to get somebody else into our, um, into our, into our into our world. Okay, uh, Potato should be coming back here. We should have at least a better relationship with uh, with the king's family. Now, we could do a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, we could trade. Uh, we could trade. Orstalt will sell rye for 30 gold. Uh, that would be, that'd be quite nice. Uh, we can buy tools. Uh, sell rye, sure. I think we'll 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 get a trade uh, we'll get a trade relationship up and running whilst we are uh, whilst we are there. We don't actually have uh, we don't have Rye at the moment. Uh, Yurina and Brother Potato are are heading off into uh, into the world to get uh, to get knowledge or not to get knowledge to get friendly, which is very very nice indeed. And my builders are doing grand. Okay, Holy Sophia has forsaken me. We should be fine on that front. I think we're fine pretty much on every front. The only thing that worries me is that we do not have any knowledge, uh, any knowledge production. There's no knowledge being studied uh, at the present moment. Okay, uh, what's going on? Result in Great Mist. I greet you, Orbit of Data. I'm ready to express my delight at the conclusion of such a lucrative trade agreement. Not everyone can sheathe their sword and engage in negotiations, but I can because I made friends with the leader of uh, the kingdom, which is good. Relations with the kingdom have improved. Um, as part of this arrangement, uh, he will sell, he will offer to sell 15 rye uh, used for flour and beer um, for 31, which is the price of two. Holy Caravan buys and sells this item for two and five, which is honestly fine. Uh, all we need to do uh, every day as and when we want to, boom, we can uh, we can click that button and uh, we can leave that ticked. And that means that we're automatically going to trade at a pretty good price, if I do indeed say so myself. Uh, Yurina and a wolf have started a fight. That's okay. That's kind of what we like to see, right? I mean, wolf hunting, that's... Nice. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay. Amazing. I'm just gonna hope that nobody gets injured. Brother Potato, well done. Well done, you. Goodness gracious me, this wolf is... This wolf is very sad. <laughs> He's punching the wolf. <laughs> well, okay. We got there in the end, didn't we? We got there in the end. Excellent, okay. Um... Okay. Good. Look at this. Um, my subjects uh, are satisfied that your policy aligns with their values. We make profitable trade deals with neighbors. Excellent. 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 Okay. Um, I'm hoping that these two people are going to like each other. I'm hoping that these two are going to like each other. That's the um, that's the objective. Can I get you to seduce? No. Target has a very low interest in this lord. Well, what about um, what about we do spend time with Yurina? Sure. Again, we're gonna try and develop a little something something there. That's the aim of the game. Okay. We also need to get um, we also need to get Mrs. Potato uh, rescued. But before we get Mrs. Potato rescued, I should probably make sure that we have some accommodation for Mrs. Potato to come back to. Uh, so we will do that. Let's get that set up. Beautiful. Lord's house. Queue up another one of those. Decor. Uh, don't care about decor. We're fine. We're fine at the moment. Okay. Uh, now, we've got our library up and running. That's really, really important. 
a couple of different things that we can actually do. Uh, we can get these, uh, we can get this learnt. Now, the problem is... Uh, the problem is if we get Yurina to learn it, she is the best. Uh, she's the best intelligence score, so uh, it's going to be it's going to be quicker for her to read the book and learn how to do it. The problem is is that if she leaves, then we are we are going to be in trouble. Uh, we are going to be in real trouble because the knowledge is going to go is going to go with her. So you know what? Let's let's see if she can start learning the uh, the 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 stuff, the books, the knowledge. Um, a little progress bar down here should take no time at all. But more importantly than that, we just need to make sure that Yurina actually gets, um, we, we just need to hope that she stays here. Okay, Free Lord is waiting to be hired. Uh, who are you? You are, you're pretty good. I mean, we could just grant you a title sort of straight up, right? If you're, yeah, Grimace does not have a good enough relationship. Ah. It's 21 and 25 is needed. Well, I tell you what we can do. Uh, we can social spend time, spend time with, uh, oh, we actually can't do that. We actually can't do, we can't do it before we hire you. Okay, well, let's, let's hire you then. I don't mind hiring you. Hire a lord, open a potato, let's get you to do it. Congratulations, welcome on board. Okay, happy days. I think it's almost time that we think about, uh, we think about, uh, oh yeah, you have no housing. That is unavoidable, I'm afraid. We are going to have to get some additional housing. We're working on the barracks. Let's let's click uh, build this first. Yeah, we should we should build that first. We've got seven unemployed peasants, so that's not terrible. But I should probably queue up an additional dormitory over here. There we go. Get that sorted. Beautiful. And let's hope that let's hope that the world goes easy on us today. Okay, and also let's see if we can try and rescue our 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 wife. Okay, don't worry about loyalty. Yep, we we're we we understand. We understand the mechanics of loyalty. It's uh it's very, very simple. Yes, I will build warehouse. I will build a warehouse. I do need to do that. But in all honesty, it's really not a super big priority at the moment. Okay. Right, let's get to building, shall we? Let's get to building. Get this finished, then get the barracks finished. And hopefully we can... Ooh, paying tribute. The village chief has brought tribute. He'll now deliver it to your warehouse. Well, uh, as I say, don't really have a warehouse, but that's good enough. Okay, you should have... There we go. You should have that. Uh, we will also build ourselves an additional house for Mrs. Potato when she eventually gets back. Uh, we've got the barracks that is about to be finished up here, which is great. Beautiful. Cash-wise, we're still doing fine. Uh, we have got no rings, though. We've got absolutely no rings, which is a big old problem. Uh, we should probably try and buy some uh, buy some rings when the, uh, the thingy comes back. Okay, uh, we've got some people that are going to be staying in the barracks, which is great. Uh, because we would like to get an army up and running. Ooh, yes, I haven't actually set a, set a, a production uh, thing to... Do until, uh, do until we have, how much moonshine do we have at the moment? We've got zero moonshine. It's not a huge problem because we're still working through our beer stash. Uh, we can make flour, uh, we can make beer. We just need to build the appropriate facilities in order to do so. Uh, moonshine, we'll, we'll set that up to actually work and uh, that will be done in the brewery, which is great. We can upgrade all of these facilities. I don't particularly want to do that. I don't particularly need to do it. It uh, It is all good. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, can we get, let's go on a wolf hunting with, uh, Grimoros, and we'll see if we can actually just make you a lord so that we don't have to, so that we don't have to pay you. That's kind of the, uh, the, that's, that's the good situation. Okay, uh, we're also going to get ourselves an army. Let's go into two times speed, and let's see if we can set up an army whilst that is all happening. Okay, so the combat mechanics in this game are very, very cool indeed. Uh, we are going to set up a... We're going to set up Orbital Potato as our commander. Uh, we are going to set up... Uh, we're going to set up all of these warriors here uh, as uh, as warriors in the army. And then we are going to equip all of the individual weapons. Uh, there we go. I mean, is there... Can I hire Can I hire some mercenaries? I absolutely can hire some mercenaries. Who do I want to? Who do I want to hire? It takes them a day or two to reach your settlement. You hire them without equipment, so make sure uh, we have the the resources to get it sorted. You know what? Let's let's get 
let's get three mercenaries. They are gonna take they are gonna take a uh, twenty eight hours. Twenty eight hours. That's a little bit. It's a little bit of a long time. But you know what? We'll we'll do it. We'll hire three mercenaries. That is fine. Uh, and then we will create an army controlled by Potato. We'll get everybody. We'll get everybody in here. Uh, we will not get everybody in here apparently. Hire all the best. Hire all the best people. Yeah. So we need to wait for them to get into the to get to the uh, to get to the settlement before we're before we're able to get other things started. That is fine. That is good. Okay. We still have a lot of building to get done. Why is my building not happening at an appropriate speed? I don't know. Dormitories being built. That's fantastic. How many migrants do we have today? Just one single, uh, one single migrant. King of another culture. That is because we've got so many migrants coming from um, the next door province, which is something that we need to worry about. Uh, Grimoros and Wolf has started to fight. That's okay. Open a potato is absolutely, absolutely taking it to town. We have a minor bruise here. On Orbiter Potato and what on Grimoros? You've got a few uh, a few injuries. Okay, that's good. Um, you hopefully have got a little bit of a relationship going on now. Excellent. So Orbiter Potato, can I actually grant? Can we grant? Uh, can we grant Grimoros a title? I would really like to do that. Grant a title. Yes. Making him a full fledged member of the family, it'll be necessary to pay a tax to the Holy Family to restore. Uh, that is fine. I'm happy to do that. Let's grant you a title. Uh, there's a little action queue up here. I should have chatted about this a little bit uh, a little bit earlier on. Uh, but hopefully, Potato is going to be able to make that happen. And boom. Now, officially, you are in the family, which is great. The treasury is nearly empty. Only one title remains. That is not a problem at all. Don't worry about it. Uh, that's completely fine. Now, I think in charge of our... Do we want Grimoros to be in charge of our army? I don't think that would necessarily be a bad idea. I think I'd be quite happy with that. Okay, Yurina. Yurina started a drunken brawl. Oh my god. Right. Um. That's a little bit unfortunate. But I guess that's okay. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's life. Sometimes you have drunken brawls. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, right. Grimoros. Orbit of potato, get rid of that. That is fine. Now, where are my where are my um where are my people? 16, 16 hours away. I want I want I want I want this set up. I want I want my uh I want my army. I want my army ready to rock and roll. We have a weak army, we have a lot of unemployed, uh, only one title remains. We should not have we should have um we should have more stuff for people to do. We should have more stuff for people to do. I will see if we can build anything. Can I build oh I can build a temple. Yeah, let's build a temple. Okay, let's get that set up. Sure. Because, of course, we got uh, we got Yurina studying that, uh, that knowledge, if you'll remember. The Emperor's Dream. Unite 15 northern provinces, either king or vassal state, proclaim yourself new emperor, challenge the church's inquisition. Ooh, cool. Okay. Uh, very interesting indeed, but unfortunately not something that I think that we're going to be able to accomplish. What I would like to try and do is I'd like to try and form an army. I'd like to see if I can try and free my wife. And I'd like to get that all started. I'd also like to finish off all of the construction projects. Uh, Brother Potato will be warehouse manager. Brother Potato is just the best kind of guy. He's got seven um, managerial positions, which is quite a lot, honestly. Marriage, yep. I would, I would love Brother Potato. I would love Brother Potato to try and seduce, um, to try and seduce. Uh, you've got ten. You've got ten rings. I'd love you to try and seduce a uh, Yurina. Wise conversation. Spend time. Spend time with Yurina. Yeah, try again. Try again. It's worth trying to get a little bit of a little bit of marriage going on. Oh, look at that! We got a temple. Brilliant. Uh, I would love to appoint a sermon of the faith. Sure. Uh, Grimoros, you can be sermon uh, sermon leader there, which is fine. Brother Potato required knowledge during a conversation. 
Ooh, this is really, really interesting. Brother Potato acquired knowledge during a conversation with Yurina of the temple. So that is fantastic. That means that if she leaves, for whatever reason, if we're not able to pay her, then the temple knowledge is now going to stay with us, which I think is just like a fantastic little illustration of all of the sort of little quirks that happen in this game. Um, you can share knowledge. You can you can have a whole bunch of different sort of situations happen. Uh, Brother Yurina gave uh, Brother Potato gave credit to Yurina. Yeah, I think we I think we might be able to I think we might be able to try and I think we might be able to try and get you get you started. I, that'll be fine. Okay. A bishop. A bishop is coming to us. Oh, great. Just what we needed. Right, what's going on? Brother Potato, it's time for the Lord to marry. I don't think that we can get you married, right? There's no there's no targets. Yurina, I'm really trying. I'm really trying with Yurina. I'm really trying with Yurina here. You can only repeat that. Why? What about a wise conversation with Yurina? Sure, we can try. We can try. Okay, the church comes to your town. Oh, goodness gracious me. I really don't even want to... I don't even want to know what's going to happen here. A free lord is waiting to be hired. We don't have the ability to do that anymore. Uh, at the end of the day, hopefully we're going to be... We're going to be a little bit better off. Uh, Mrs. Potato's back? Mrs. Potato's returned to the province? How the heck did that happen? Uh... My best friend! My friend! <laughs> my friend! Oh my goodness, that wolf hunting... Okay, well that's amazing. Um, my friend came and destroyed the camp that was holding my my wife in. Oh, that's amazing! That's amazing! Um, okay, uh, we can we can look to send... By the way, we can look to send some uh, some people... Some people to try and get married. That is fantastic! That is absolutely fantastic. But I wanted to take on a bandit camp. I really wanted to take on a bandit camp. Are you a friend? You're neutral. Um, what about if we do... Oh, I just... I wanted to... I wanted to... I wanted to... I wanted to conquer. I wanted to conquer that bandit camp by myself. <laughs> Mrs. Potato is back in town. Well, oh, congratulations. And I hope uh, Orbital Potato is, uh, is happier now. Oh, look at that. Sexual desire and also few rings. Well, there we go. Can you try and seduce... You try and seduce your wife? This performer has low loyalty. Oh, that's a that's a bad sign. That is a bad sign. Everybody's piling into church. Everybody's everybody's dancing along. Fantastic. Open the potatoes discovered a strong desire within themselves. Ooh, okay. What is that? What is that strong desire? The strong desire is a desire to eat meat. Great. Just what I always wanted. Uh, we do not have any meat hunting facilities at the moment. Although I think we can maybe get it set up. Ooh, coal furnace. We can start producing coal. Um, look, I, I think honestly we've covered uh, just about enough of this. Um, I really, I, I didn't even get the opportunity to set up an army. But I mean, we can set up, we can set up an army like so. We can equip it with weapons. It's very, very cool indeed. Um, and then we can send sort of people off to war. And the war, the warring sort of combat mechanics kind of work uh, like RimWorld, but. Honestly, this is a, a, a fantastic management game. A really, really, really unique uh, unique system of um, of controls. Really, really unique mechanics. I feel like I barely scratched the surface on of, you know, of the religion mechanics, the economy uh, mechanics, uh, the production mechanics. We didn't even get that much sort of stuff produced. We didn't even get that many production buildings. I can see that this is going to be uh, a fantastic game when indeed it comes out. Um, it's coming out in May of 2024, and I cannot wait for it. Anyway, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap that up right about now. Thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open to Potato. I'll catch you next time. Bye.